He's just playing low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's, he's open. He's wide open. Cracked open in the face. And there we go, got our Super C snails. Welcome back to Splatoon 2, everybody. This has been my, this is my main 10,100. We're back with Splatoon and Team Treat 1. Yeah, I didn't participate in the Splatfest again, even though it was 48 hours. Because it always seems like every Splatfest is on a weekend that I'm working. And most of the time, it's an early morning start on Saturday, and the Sunday is a late start. Like, like a late start, so I, so I finish at like 10, a little bit after 10 o'clock, every time. It's ridiculous. Um, which island do I want to go to? So which one is closer? Oh, the resort center. I'll go there. So that'll be the easiest way to do it. So yeah, so it seems like every time, like I wanted to play more of this game, and I'm actually doing it, because um, I'm technically playing the campaign mode, so, uh, so I'm technically playing Splatoon more, but uh, not enough, <laughs> it looks like. Uh, that's why I have the charger on. Yeah, missed the shot. <laughs> and failure. <laughs> Why do I have to go the wrong way around, guys? Come on. That's just wrong. But yeah, um, ultimately, 
it's been a weekend that I've always been working, so that's why I haven't participated in many Splatfests, but I do... Activate this. Um, when I do get the off chance that I play some, uh, I haven't won one. I've actually, this is the last two, I've actually won just due to the fact that they've actually changed how the Splatfests run. So let's go to boss number three, and it looks like lips for days. Octostomp is returning, so that's that's great. That's a great thing. Do we get a new weapon? More data on the duelies. Well, I'm not going to complain. Because uh, if that's what you want, then I'll take it. Because I love the duelies. I love that it's a light globe. I love that. That's, that's it's a nice attention to detail that never never happened in the original game. They make the bosses so much more epic than the original game, which I think is great for this game because it makes a lot of sense. Now, has he still got his small little legs? I'm back! <laughs> I love that. That's great. It's very aware of itself. Ow. Yes, Agent 3 did take him out, but he is back. Like the last, uh, well, actually, I was going to say like the last boss, but no. Um, I believe, I don't know if this is the, uh, the only returning boss. I don't believe so. And I brought you this sweet new coat, Neo Octostorm. They sure do know how to go big, yeah. Well, considering how big the Octo Stomp is. Oh, that's right, I gotta aim down, don't I? This might take me a while. Okay, so it looks like I can actually hit the buckle. Okay, so that took a little while, I had to work that out for a sec. <laughs> Which is great, I think, about Splatoon, is that they do well to, um, make you think about, uh, the, uh, okay, I'm not gonna get into this cycle, but the next one. Now we'll grab it on the next one. But yeah, it, it, it makes you think. Which not many shooters do, like, ultimately you have, like, some things that happen. I guess I've got two. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, this guy just grew two more faces. Yeah, he did. He did grow two more faces, which... If we go down here, okay, so it actually changes in there. See, now if they 
didn't want me to do this, then they wouldn't have put uh, the, uh, what's his name down here. I love that he has little legs, that, that's, that's the one thing I love about this boss, is that he has such little legs that make no sense, it's like how the hell is that thing holding up? I'm gonna get up to the top, am I gonna beat it? Yes I am, look at that! And he is down for the count, and he's gonna spin again. So we didn't get an uh, Octarian freakout moment there for a second, but um, it was spinning, so I guess that kind of counts. And another Zapfish is out. 4 minutes 45, really? I thought it was actually longer than that. I thought we were heading into like the 7 or 8 minute territory there. Okay, so let's talk about this again, because we can't really see it on the screen. So, Marie says, Agent 4, I want to thank you again for all you've done so far. I think it's time I told you about the other purpose in asking for your help. Oh, here we go. When we met, I told you I was searching for the great Zapfish. But I'm afraid that's not the whole story. You see, even more than the great Zapfish, I want to find my cousin Callie. Who, of course, is the other Squid sister, if you guys didn't know from the first game. She vanished on the same day as the great Zapfish. Coincidence? I think not. Wait, you already knew? Phew, cool. So anyway, I'm Agent 2 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon and Callie is Agent 1. Then there's Agent 3 who's currently out with our grandpa, Captain Cuttlefish. So, um, for those of you uh, that don't know, the Octo Expansion, I believe, um, Agent 3, I believe, is part of that. And Captain Cuttlefish is as well. I haven't actually played it because I don't want to dive into that before finishing this. So, um, and I'll eventually be getting to play that um, probably in a first impressions video sometime soon. I don't, I don't know when. Um, they won't be back for a little while. So, yeah, so they kind of set it up. I was supposed to be protecting Inkopolis while the captain was away, but then Callie, the great Zapfish. Sorry I didn't tell you sooner. We'd be totally sunk without you, Agent 4. I know we'll find Callie if we keep looking. Think you can see this thing through? Let, let no. Leave now! Huh? Who's there? If you get in our way, Agent 4 will mess you up. So we have um, an invader of our um, transmissions again. Okay, and now we head into our new area. Callie and the Great Zapfish are somewhere up ahead, Agent 4. So yeah, so obviously, Marie thinks that the Octarians have stolen um, Callie as well as the Great Zapfish. The Zapfish I can understand because we've already gone through some Zapfish already. But uh, we are in our new area, Area 4, Slime Skin Garrison. Which, okay, weird name, but we'll go with that. Um, but yeah, so obviously they, they, she thinks that, and that Callie has also been taken away by, um, by the Octarians.
Nice little platforming sequences here. Oh god, I thought I was gonna die. I seriously thought I was gonna die. And kettle. Okay, and jump down here. So we have a lot more uh, things to play with when it comes to this uh, area, it seems. With a lot of the um, gimmicks from a lot of the levels appearing again, which is good. Uh, it's great to see that, because um, Splatoon 1 didn't really do that. It, it kind of did a little bit, but not very much. But it's good to see that Splatoon 2 is taking the initiative and going, yep, we have all these gimmicks that you've played with before. They're actually going to help in the hub worlds as well, which is great. I think it's a, it's a good idea. There you go, more power eggs. Take those. Oh, nice. That's cool. Okay, so that's to the boss door. So we have... What do we have? More, how many more levels? Three levels to uncover as well. I know a lot of this is kind of boring. I know some people are going to be like, why are we getting into a situation where we're just finding the levels? Why aren't we actually playing the levels? But, um... With find them first and then play them. I think that's probably a good way of doing things. That way we're not searching for too long on uh, different levels and such. So I'm going to go down this way and over to where I was initially. This one goes up. One more kettle, which I believe is down there. Good use of power egg there. Or a balloon, I should say. So, if area 4 is like this, I can't wait to see what area 5 is like. That's Because that's going to be crazy. Um, so, let's go back to my here. And head back to 16. Which is all the way over here. It's a secret bowling alley. Which, uh, I don't know what the weapon is going to be for this. If it's a new weapon, I, I can't think of one that would actually work really well, but... Oh, okay, so we're going to just play with a hero shot anyway. So we have Octarians that are in, um... Okay, so they're Octoballers. So avoid them at all costs. Okay, so we can't touch them at all. Seems. So what we can't hit it at all. So can we not take them out at all? Or stay in your lane. Really? We're going to go with a bowling pun? But which one is my lane, Marie? I don't know which one it is. Is it the left side or is it the right side? Yes, we can. Okay, so we can take out the Octo Ballers, but they're, they're, they're pretty... Oh, what's a gold one? What does a gold one do? Oh man, 
think I want right there. I'm gonna take this gold one in because I have a feeling there's something in it. Whether it's more power eggs, I don't know, but it, it's it's a different color ball, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah, more power eggs, okay. So okay, eight, that one gave me ten rather than what normally is one. Yeah, I was gonna say because it's a different color ball, so I don't know what the distinction is between the two, but. Dang, there's sure a lot of these pin eggs. <laughs> you tell them, Marie. You tell them. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's not the right time for that to move. So this is a moving part. Oh god, here it comes. Here they come. Watch out when you get to the top. Okay, so obviously there is a spot right there. No! God damn it. Okay, so at least... I was gonna say, can the Octoballers take out their own, like, their own... <laughs> Octolings? That, that would be funny. I gotta test that sometime. Oop. Yellow one. Oh god. <laughs> like, I love the uh, the idea of the, the moving platforms, as much as I, I would hate them in some regards. They have like a little arcade noise when they come out. Yeah, okay, take. I'll take more of those power eggs if I can. But I love, I love the fact that they have music from Splatoon One in this game as well. I think that that that, that makes it. A, that, that it's huge. That box over there is a sunken scroll. Just have a feeling. A little bit of elevation. <laughs> How good am I? Like, goddamn. I knew that was a mile away. I knew that it was a sunken scroll a mile away. I just don't want this to drop on me. God damn it. It's gonna be so hard. Oh, okay. I know how to get that now. Give me a sec. <laughs> if I shoot all the balls... Because it'll be... It'll give me enough time to get up there. when I shoot each of the balls down. Oh, no, I missed it. Okay, so I've got to time it better. And I've got to hit the right spot too. So if I hit it here, it's going to be another miss. I know some people are going to be agitated, like, just, just, 
play the damn level. It's like, but the Sunken Scroll is like right there. Hero shot. <laughs> so I can put out better input, or better output of my ink. Uh, I think one of the next things I think I need to work on is my ink capacity. Right, that's something that I really need to do. Okay, thank God it's the last check. <laughs> okay, so we got moving platforms as well, which is. Oh God, geez, they're coming down fast. Oh good, that actually that actually really really actually was good for armor, but I was happy that the, the uh, sprays were there as well. Because uh, they take out the <laughs> octoballers, which is good. It was good, good timing on the armor as well. I will say that that was really great timing on that. But yeah, that's that's secret bowling alley. Okay, so we have a sunken scroll. So let's read it. It's so number sixteen. Now hiring egg collectors. This actually looks like a, a Grisco advertisement. No experience required. All ages and backgrounds welcome. A fun way to make some quick G. Quick. I'm not sure what the currency. I think it's just. I think it's just G in in um, Splatoon. I don't know what what the actual currency is called. But anyway, grab a friend and join up together. So yeah, this definitely looks like a uh, Grisco as uh, a Grisco uh, advertisement, which actually is Salmon Run, which actually connects Salmon Run to um, Splatoon 2's campaign, which is good. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Marie's just singing away. So I reckon that'll be it for this episode of Splatoon 2. Next time we'll be heading into more of uh, Slime Skin Garrison. It's still a weird name for an area. And we're actually going to go into uh, level number 17, Octo Commander Fortress. Which it looks like it's, a, it's an Octoling that looks like chicken or something from that picture there but who knows <laughs> could be anything so with all that said thank you guys so much for watching this episode of splatoon 2 this has been my man 10100 you guys have a great day or night and of course take care